Testing, testing. Good job. Good job. My name is Antoinette Yvonne and this is my Van Zion. She is a 2019 136 wheelbase. I've been on the road for one year now and this is my upgraded and updated van tour. A few months back I upgraded the tires from the original factory tires to the BF Goodrich KL2 all-terrain tires. Eventually we're going to get these wheels together but I'm excited for my shoes baby. It looks so sexy. I must say, they are quite the difference. <laughs> Let's take a look inside, shall we? Upon entry, there, I have a single switch here that lights up the entrance. I also have in the entryway a flip up table, something that I find very useful when I don't want to set up my bed into dinette mode. Shoes off before entering the humble abode. This chair swivels to serve as an extra seating area when I do want to work from this area instead of the back. Because I like showering daily, I had to have a shower built into my van. I'm also a solo female van lifer, so I didn't see myself showering outside by myself or going to strange places. Um, and I'm uncomfortable, so just the comfortability. Is that a word? Bruh. Comfortability. comfortability. Okay. So the comfortability and the convenience of having the shower works for me. And the toilet situation is pretty much the same thing. It's the comfortability and the convenience of using the restroom in my own space. I have a Thetford Porter Potty and it does the job. A few months back, I got some upgrades done to the van and something that I didn't have six, seven months into van life. I didn't have this wooden plank here in the shower and so when I took a shower previously it would just get sticky and get dirty very quickly so when I got upgrades done to the van I had to make this wooden plank and I actually like it because it hides the dirt. All right. So coming into the kitchen area because I am a chef want to be I love to cook and I call myself a chef to be I wanted to be sure that I have enough space in this shorter wheelbase to do the things that I needed and wanted to do so when it comes to the kitchen and the sink I have a huge farmhouse sink that I absolutely love and I wouldn't change it for a smaller sink because it also serves as storage area when I don't want to do the dishes okay that's important so with this flip up and this half sink cover, I have a lot of space to do my meal prepping and a lot of other things when I'm cooking. Do you have the other half of the sink? Or they just made half? They just made half, I just wanted half of it. Okay, so moving on to the stove area, I opted for a two burner induction stove. Coming over here to one of my favorite parts of the van is my air fryer, which I absolutely adore. <laughs> Hold on, that's a little sticky. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I chose an air fryer over a microwave or an oven or not having one because number one, it cooks faster and number two, when I heat up leftovers, it doesn't have that microwave soggy taste. If you know what I'm talking about, then you already know. Okay, anyhow. <laughs> Another great feature that I have in my van is my large 12 volt refrigerator. And I chose this size because in my research phase in van life, I noticed a lot of the smaller refrigerators that a lot of the van lifers have. That wasn't gonna cut it for me. So I have this huge fridge and it serves its purpose and it works for me. Also one of the great features of this van is the placement of the refrigerator. Normally when you see the van build, you see the refrigerators on the floor where you have to bend down. I don't have time for all that. So having this placement right here, it just, again, another thing that works for me and I love it. 
Right here we have two of the storage cabinets. One of them serves the purpose of my food pantry and then the other one serves the purpose of my extra storage. I got these, I got these, I got these. <laughs> you got a lot. <laughs> I got these magnetic spice racks from Amazon and I absolutely love them. Um, sometimes they can get a bit sticky when you try to twist them but because I am a chef, I needed to be sure that I have all the spices that a girl can dream of. This here is my control panel. I have my dimmer switch that controls the main lights in the van. Turn it back up so y'all can see me. I have my water switches here. This left switch releases my gray water underneath the van. I have a seven ounce gray, is it ounce? No. Gallon, thank you. Um, <laughs> is it no? <laughs> That's a little small. <laughs> I have a seven gallon gray water tank underneath the van and then this water pump is the water pump for my sink and also for my shower. This here is for my inverter. I have a 3000 watt energy inverter in the back. We'll show you that in a little bit. This here is my Victron. Can you see me? Yes. Okay. This here is my Victron battery monitor. And as you can see, I have 100% because my batteries is the shiznit. Another great aesthetic feature that I love in this van is my backsplash here. It just it just gives me that oomph of luxury that I needed. <laughs> that sounded stressed. In this cabinet here, I have obviously some junk, but it also serves as the space for my Wii Boost. <laughs> I've learned is that there is not a one-size-fits-all to van life. You really have to make it your own. Yes, there'll be van lifers and vans that inspire your van, but in reality, you really need to do what works for you. Okay, let's get into these drawers, all right? In my last van tour, I got a lot of comments saying they wanted to see inside my drawers. And when I did that video, I didn't have anything inside them. Now I do, which is why this is an updated van door. This first drawer serves as my silverware utensil drawer here. The second drawer here is my cups, my tubware, um, wine glasses. And then this third drawer here is, is my dinnerware set. So I have my plates, my bowls, my mixing bowls, cutting boards, things of that nature. Coming over to this bigger drawer underneath the refrigerator, I have my pots and my pans, and I also throw miscellaneous things in there. Oh, that's, oh God, I'm getting old. Okay. Figure out how you want to live your life on the road, what things are most important and what really aren't important to you, and build your van around that. For me, I wanted the convenience of a lot of different things and I prioritized around that. My kitchen, I love to cook, so I built around that. A shower, I like to take daily showers in the comfort of my own home, so I built around that. I work on the road full time, so I wanted a space that converts into a bed and a dinette area. And although it is a hassle putting it up and down, I still wouldn't change it. I built around that. So this is my dinette and entertainment area. I also, when I do want to work from the back, actually in more productive back here, this is my workspace. Obviously you don't see a bed right now. That's because this converts into a bed at night. Well, or whenever I want to sleep. These cushions were made from a full size mattress. Because I got a lot of junk in the trunk, I opted for an eight inch memory foam to be comfortable. I have five cabinets here in the back. Two of them serve as my clothes cabinets. The two in front of those serve as my toiletry cabinets. So we have hair things and facial things here. We have makeup and hair and facial things there. And the smaller one up front is my electrical cabinet. 
I unfortunately did not have an AC built in the van. Had I known it was a thing, I would have done it. But I do have a max air vent fan, and for now it'll do. But as a secondary, I bought this. This fan is really fantabulous. This fan from Amazon. On both sides of the van, I have one reading light, you know, that you can just switch on like that, as well as regular outlets on both sides. This switch here is quite special. It regulates my hot water tank. So all I have to do to get hot water for the sink or the shower, I turn on my inverter, turn on this switch, let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes, and then I have a hot shower. Well now let's go around to the back and show you more of the electrical and water setup that I have. I have a 33 gallon fresh water tank and over here I have a four gallon hot water tank. I fill up my water by this little spigot here. I attach a regular fresh water hose to it along with a detachable filter. But attached to the sink I also have a water filtration system that filters the water coming out. So when it comes to powering my Van Zion, <laughs> she is a beast. <laughs> when I initially hit the road I had two 200 amp hours of AGM batteries. I quickly realized that with the electrical setup that I have, I have all electricity in my van, the 400 amp hours of battery total was not cutting it. Technically, it was only 200. So now I have an upgraded system. I have 500 amp hours of lithium batteries. How I power those batteries, I have something connected to my alternator. I also have two 175 watts solar panels up top. As a third option, I have something like shore power, but I'm able to plug up when I am stationary to an outlet. So I just make them life work for me and it's been working for me for an entire year now. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay. Thank you for stopping by to design my luxury van. If you want to see my original van tour to see what has changed throughout the year, then I'll link the card here and the link will be in the description box below. And don't forget to join me on my adventures where I post once a week, every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, guys, as always, I appreciate you guys. Here is to normalizing the luxury to live free, despite our fears. Breathe. <laughs> Don't do that. Put them up, put them up. Fool no, means. Fool. Ah, okay. It's this the size, the fool. <laughs> and the toilet situation is pretty much the same thing. I have a Thetford Porta Potty. Chair, sir. I really appreciate your assistance. I'm a director, not assistant. Oh. Today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. Breathe. <laughs> <laughs> you look really nice. Thank you. She is a well as where's we are. <laughs> I tend to waste a lot of things. I still wouldn't change it. No, I don't want to say that. <laughs> All those earth people are gonna come for you. Yeah, they are. Distracting. Can you put it inside out? Or like put it in the shirt? I can. You'll still see the thing. This chair swivels. This chair swivels. Covered, nope, uh, what's it called? Cabinet. Thank you. What is this? What do I just call it? Entry light Thank you. switch. What's this called? Table. I mean, what kind of table? Flip up. Flip up table. Thank you. Yeah, I have a, what's it called? Flip up table. <laughs> <laughs> I have, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. What was this? <laughs> <laughs> what was this? The, the comfortability and Convenient. Thank you. I had them make this. What's it called? Well, this section here is my elect. Wait, what's this called? Control panel. Thank you very much. Um, and then we have my Victron. What is this called? Uh, battery. I don't have um, one of those. I don't know. But, it, but it's a battery. It's for my. It says battery monitor. Okay, thank you. Very much. <laughs> um, this here is my. What is it called? Control panel. Thank you. <laughs> this here is my control panel. So I have my, what's this called? Uh, Dimmer. Oh, thank you. This, this that, 
at controls. Thank you very much. This here is my control panel. I have my what's it called? <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. <Please. laughs> Oh gosh. Take two. Six. Six. 